And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host Jonathan. Once again, bringing you another trailer reaction and review. And this time it's for the brand new and final season of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. That's right, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is back. The final season's here. It took us two years for this thing to come back. I, I, I don't know why they took so long for this to think. I think the last season happened 2018, if I remember correctly. The, no, the season six. I don't know why they took such a long, long break. I mean, even before this pandemic happened, they took a long break. And I totally forgot Agents of Shields was gone. They weren't sure what they were going to do with it. They weren't sure they were going to renew it. But it's here. The final season's here. And I can't wait to see it. And I will be reviewing every episode when it comes out because I have done the other seasons. So let's talk about it. Let's watch this trailer and see exactly what we're going to be going for this season. Cause last season was a doozy. Nineteen thirty-one. When he gets here, okay. just count the dough. Ah, the, the ending door. of season six. Okay, that makes sense. That was the ending. Scene. Really? Who the hell are these guys? The boys lost. I'm Ascension Chronicon from the planet Chronica 2. Chronicon, yep. Good for you. Now beat it, before we make you freaks regret being born. Chronicons are not born. Great. <laughs> oh man, this should be fun. Warning you. Last chance, pal. Take them, boys! <laughs> Peggy Carter, nice. I knew she was going to be part of this. So you're saying to save S.H.I.E.L.D.? We have to save Hydra. Ooh. That's interesting. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Now, I'm going to complete completely honest with you. Season 6 was not my favorite season out of all of them. My favorite season still of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is the one with Ghost Rider and also the one with Hydra. Those seasons are amazing. I do like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I, you know, I feel like, you know, they have some great episodes. Then they have some episodes that kind of like, eh. You know, the whole Inhuman saga, that was fun. But, you know, unfortunately, they couldn't have done more with it because, let's face the facts, when they were going to do the Inhumans movie, they decided to scrap that to make it a TV show. And we all know how that turned out. So, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. created the, you know, Inhumans, I guess, in their world. But they don't even talk about that anymore. So, I'm very curious to see. If we're gonna get any new kind of like Easter eggs here for maybe maybe mutants, Fantastic Four, how they're gonna deal with the whole snap? Are we gonna get information about that? You know how they're gonna deal about how people were gone and now they're suddenly back? Are we gonna you know are they gonna dive into that? This also feels to me like DC's Marvel's uh, DC's Agent um, Legends of Tomorrow. They're gonna go back through time. I don't know how many periods. Maybe I could be wrong, but. I feel like they're going to do that, fix a couple of things, and make sure it happens. Now, at the end of the trailer, he said we have to fix S.H.I.E.L.D. by fixing HYDRA. So, if they have to save HYDRA, that means they have to make sure HYDRA exists from the past. I mean, they could erase it, theoretically, but how would that affect Captain America? How would that affect Winter Soldier moving forward? Remember, Winter Soldier, it was when this, you know, it was a big surprise when, you know, HYDRA revealed themselves that they were the ones in charge. So, are they going to let Hydra take over eight, you know, the S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters from the past? Remember, in the past, Peggy Carter was one of the original S.H.I.E.L.D. members with Howard Stark and, I believe, Hank Pym. So, maybe Hank Pym, maybe we'll see an appearance with him. Who knows? But, um, this looks like it could be a cool, fun season. My only, you know, concern about the new season... Um, I really hope they don't like ma mention Coulson as a you know a robot, and then eventually he turns back to being the real Coulson. You know, we all know Coulson. 
He died in Avengers, spoiler alert, came back, died again, came back as a different version of him from another dimension, died, and now he's a robot. So I hope they stop playing th those kind of games with everybody else. You know, if you're going to kill a character, just cut him off, okay? Because, you know, as, I, I, as much as I love the Marvel Universe, and this affects everything Marvel, regardless of TV or the movies, they always do this. They always kill the characters, and then they just bring them back in different versions. And we all know Tony Stark is eventually going to come back, so spoiler for fan for that. But um, it looks cool. Can't wait. I Like I said before, I will be reviewing the episodes when it happens. So make sure you turn into that. If you want to go back and watch the other ones, just you know follow my channel and you'll find the old ones. Because I think I did it from the first season or maybe even the second season. I don't even remember anymore. But um, I've been enjoying Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. You know, some episodes are stronger than the others, like I said before, but... What can you do? You know, I feel like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. for me, in my opinion, has been the mar best Marvel show on TV besides Daredevil and Jessica Jones, in my opinion. That's it. Just those three have been the best. Everything else in TV world, eh. You know, Inhumans tried. It was okay. But um, I think Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has something pretty remarkable. I mean, it ain't nowhere near anywhere near the DC TV shows. Nothing's going to beat that. I'm sorry, Marvel. You're never going to beat those guys. Regardless of how, you know, they can make a crappy TV show, but they'll still be better than you guys in TV. You know, you guys are the kings in the movies, but TV, DC rules. So, um, but Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I'm very excited for it to come back. I wonder what's going to happen, how this is going to affect the Marvel Universe moving forward. Are they going to mention... Uh, the Winter Soldier stuff, uh, you know, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Are they going to mention that Cap's gone? You know, are we going to see Cap? Ah, see, see. How far back are they going to go back? Is this going to be, yeah, we saw Peggy Carter, but is this going to be before t t Captain America went back in time to, you know, stay with Peggy? Or this is, before, you know, after that. So are we going to see Captain America? Are we going to hear about him? Is he going to be Captain America doing his thing? Or are we going to find out Steve Rogers is just a, a gas attendant, attendant somewhere in, you know, in that time period? Who knows? But I'm very interested to see what's going to happen. That's going to be that's going to be interesting to set up the next Marvel stuff. So I'm excited. Can't wait. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about it. And what ideas do you guys have for this season? What do you think is going to happen? you think he's going to introduce new, new stuff? Any X-Men references? You know, maybe the Fantastic Four? Who knows? Possibilities are endless. We're going to find out soon and I can't wait. So leave me a comment below. Let me know. Thank you very much and have a good day.